Alright folks, today I'm going to do a review of the uh, hitch installed for a uh, Corolla. What I have here is a Corolla uh, model year is 2006. And this, um, the seller claimed that it's compatible with Corolla, all Corolla 2003 until 2010 I believe or later and I have a 2006 here so let's see if uh, it's gonna fit and how well it fits in uh, I order from a eBay seller named Trans Auto from Greenville Wisconsin and uh, it came really fast only came in within three days so that's pretty fast it came in a nice big box cardboard box here and uh, it's well protected so let's see if uh, it's gonna fit in the uh, Corolla also in the box there are uh, four bolts and the washers and also come with the uh, pin the hitch pins pretty nice and uh, look at the bolt it's pretty well built big fat bolt okay so let's see if uh, it's gonna fit all right all right so just got it in um, as you can see here there's a little bit of a gap between the the hitch and the uh, the bumper. I wish it could be a little bit closer to the bumper, so the hitch can be a little bit off the ground a little bit more. Uh, but that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna measure later. You see what's the clearance between that and the ground. But. Uh, the installation part is uh, pretty easy and straightforward. The four screws, let me show you. Turn on the light here. You can see there are two bolts on this side uh, and two bolts on the other side. And um, I needed to have another person to hold on the other end, uh, on the other end, so that I can put this in. Uh, it's easier if you have another person to hold the other end for you. Otherwise, uh, it's uh, a little bit pain in the butt if you do it all by yourself. But that's doable. And one more thing, this is so close to the exhaust that when you install this, make sure the car uh, has been rested for a while so that this exhaust is not hot when you try to install this. Otherwise, and you're gonna you're gonna touch this and it'll get hot. So uh, I haven't run my car since a whole day now so this is this stays cool other than that it's uh, straightforward it's a pretty easy install and straightforward that's what it looks like okay and um, I also have the uh, adapter and I'm going to try to put it in and see how it looks like and uh, I'll show you later on alright so I've got an adapter here um, this one adapts from quarter inch to two inch it's made by Reese so it's, uh, it's a good brand and that's because 
this uh, here got, got, got a one and a quarter inch uh, here so and most of my stuff are two inch have this bike rack here got a two inch receiver and this cargo rack here is also two inch so I cannot use these on my new uh, hitch so I have to use this in order to uh, install the cargo or the uh, bike rack so let's uh, let's let me uh, put it in and see what it looks like all right so I have the adapter in Okay, got this in, and um, I just also install the bike rack, and that's how it looks like. Not too bad. Looks like, and um, looks sturdy. You know, a lot better than the. Uh, the kind of bike rack that you install over the trunk it looks really flimsy this I, I can put in five bikes easily so that is pretty good alright so next is my cargo um, the hitch the cargo hitch and that's what it looks like tool Pretty good. Uh, this part here is a little bit far away from the bumper because of the adapter, but uh, I think that's even better because I got more room to uh, you know, put my things on and stuff. So that's good. This rack here I bought a while ago from Walmart for $50 turns out to be a very useful thing to carry around uh, I carry bikes, snowboards, uh, boards, wood, boxes I, one time I stack it as high as the car and uh, just tie it, down, tie it down it's got holes here you can tie it down and stuff so that's very useful and uh, so far so good the reason I installed the hitch on the Corolla is because um, it's cheaper to run on the Corolla I can get 40 miles per gallon uh, versus a pickup truck I get 12 miles per gallon that's pretty bad and also uh, um, the maintenance uh, I want to run as much thing on a Corolla as possible because it's cheaper to fix an old Corolla. The parts are cheap, and easy to fix than a, um, a pickup truck or a van. So that's the main reason. That's the the two main reason. So number one is safe gas, a lot of it. Number two is uh, maintenance cost. It's a lot cheaper to maintain an old car, and you know, and this car is very durable. Anyway, it's not about reviewing the car. Uh, so that's pretty much it, and uh, I'm gonna get the ruler. I'm gonna measure how much clearance I get uh, from the hitch. All right. Alright, let's see how much clearance it has. So we got about 9 inches, less than 9 inches. Exactly, it is 8 inch and 3 quarter. 8 and 3 quarter inches. So it is 
um, it is better than the uh, Sienna van the Sienna van clearance is terrible uh, the Sienna van clearance is only 8 inches and when uh, that's one time I load quite a bit of stuff and the hitch is only about 2 inches from the ground so basically it's almost it's almost hitting the ground, dragging, dragging around. So that's pretty bad. But this seems to be a little bit higher. So um, uh, it's, uh, I'd say it's, it's higher is better. And um, this cost me $115. Free shipping. With the adapter, this adapter I got from Walmart for twenty dollars, and this is a hundred and fifteen. So total is a hundred and thirty-five. Um, and the reason I why I choose this brand is this is a very reliable brand. Number one, number two is is round. You see this this bar is round. Uh, there are also other brands but they are square. Uh, I do not like the square because um, you see when you have a hitch here it's it's causing drag. You look in the bottom here you see this bar here is sticking out and it's causing drag. And if you have a square bar, it's uh, it's gonna be a lot more drag than a tube, than a round bar. So that's one of the reasons I choose uh, this brand. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I think uh, that's all I have, guys. And thank you for watching.